Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through display URL, final URL, and destination URL inside Google Ads. I'm going to show you how to adjust them, what my recommendations for them are, and essentially go over what they are. So to start off, what is a display URL? A display URL defined by Google is the web page address that appears with your ad. So if you have an ad on Google Ads, you can customize this to a certain extent on the actual URL you want to pop up. So for say, for example, you have a website you want to send traffic to like hvac.com you can customize a display url and have it as hvac.com sl forward slash uh, hvac repair or hvac installation something like that so it's even more customized but you're going to end up sa sending traffic to hvac.com and that's essentially the difference between final url and display url display url is the thing that actually pops up on your ad it's not actually where the traffic's going but it's what people see now final url is where the traffic is actually going. So it's important to note where you're sending your traffic, where you want your traffic to go and where it's gonna convert best. So if it's hvac.com, you know, you can customize it with the display URL, but you're gonna be sending traffic to your final URL and that's where the traffic's actually gonna go. Now to clear something up, final URL and destination URL are exactly the same thing. So as you can see here, the URL address of the page and your website, people reach after they click your ad and it's the same thing here. Destination URL was originally used. Final URL has replaced that. So if I say final URL or destination URL, they're exactly the same thing. So you don't have to worry about it. We're just gonna combine those two. So how do we go about adjusting our final URL and display URLs for our campaigns? What we have to do is go to the ads. We can go to a certain campaign if we want. I'm just gonna go find a random ad here. And then we're gonna click on an ad. And as we can see, we have it set up for title pools. Now, this is the actual final URL where the traffic's gonna go to. What I recommend doing is sending this to a landing page as they generally convert better than a normal website. But this is just for the sake of example. You can send traffic to wherever you want. The next thing is the actual display path. So as you can see here, it takes the original domain, so title pools, and then it allows you to add two extensions afterwards. So you can add pool builders near me or anything you want to add. I generally recommend adding the keyword in this ad group. So if the keyword is pool builders I would recommend adding pool builders near me now one thing I would recommend is using this to the fullest extent doing 15 out of 15 and 15 out of 15 characters allowed here so you have a total of 30 characters allowed uh, the longer the link the more space you take up the more likely you are to be seen the higher the click-through rate is now I know this is small and a lot of people are gonna look over this but it's a nice little customization for most of the people scrolling through ads if they see something really designed to help them with their problem they're, they're gonna be more likely to click on it so please don't overlook this and do take Take the time to customize your display path. Once you've set this up as your final URL and your display path, all you have to do is come down here to save ad and then hit save ad and your final URL and display URL have been saved. And that's essentially all there is about final URL and display URLs. They're very simple. Uh, keep in mind, when I say final URL, if you ever see destination URL, those two things are the same thing, final and destination, same thing. Display URL is the one that's actually gonna be displayed with the ad. So if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about display URLs, final URLs, or destination URLs, leave a comment down below in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.